I'm gonna try on a few pieces out Beaumont, Paris, and um, see what you think of them. Welcome to Beaumont in Paris. picked four pieces to try on. The fourth is coming. It's a pair of shredded jeans. There's only one left. This looks a little Chanel-ish, but um, these two tops are kind of similar. What I like about them is there's no shoulder pads and they're lightweight. Um, so I'll give them a try and show you what they look like. This is the first top, um, super lightweight. I think it's a 38, fits great. Feels really nice on. Um, so compared to the price of Chanel, it's nice to have a little bit of a break. <laughs> so this is one one piece and I'll try another. So for those of you that are watching these videos for sizing, I know a lot of you have said that you do. That was a size three. I'm not sure what that translates to here. This actually says 38 um, and it also fits pretty nicely. And again, a nice break from Chanel pricing. So let me try on the other ones. Okay, this is also a 38. Let me back up a little bit. It's pretty cute. It has a little bit of wool in it, so it might get that itch factor. You try it for a little bit. The way you get it on is actually snaps here. So that's kind of cool. And um, I think it's cute. I almost think they're trying to copy Chanel Tweed a little bit here, which doesn't make me super thrilled, but um, here's how it looks in case you want to see the back. I think it's a cute style. I like the embellishments on the front. Um, I think it needs to be a little bit smaller than this 38. They haven't found the 36 yet, but I wanted to show you the jeans. Um, they're too big, they're a 38. I think in a 36, they would be pretty perfect. Love the style. Let me back up a little bit. This is their shredded look, um, but you can see this is like really big and this is my usual size. So um, if you're looking for these, just know they're running large. So this is the 36 and um, it fits nicely actually. They're baggy, but they're supposed to be. It makes me really glad that I didn't buy the jeans from video six Chanel um, because I think these are cooler and they're much less money. <laughs> so now we'll try this one. This is actually 34. They didn't have a 36, so I'll give it a shot. So this is the 34. Uh, definitely fits really well. It's just a question of if you like the style, if it's your thing. I'll get up close. You can see the detail. Um, if it looks too Chanel-esque, <laughs> or if it looks cute. Um, you know, I, I actually personally like it a lot, but it's just a matter of being on a budget here, right? So um, here's what the back looks like. Okay, so what did I end up getting at Beaumont in Paris? Um, well, first of all, a really good contact who says he can send to the US at the French prices. European prices are cheaper um, by a decent percentage, sometimes up to 20% on luxury goods. So I got three pieces. 
one of them I was hesitant about, but um, initially. So I tried it on a couple more times, tried to style it, and I think it's going to be really good. So this was the first piece that I picked up. And so the three in my try on component is actually a 36. And um, so it's super cute on. It's extremely easy to wear. There's no crazy shoulder pads and it's very comfortable. Um, so that was that piece. So I'm, I don't, as you know, if you've watched my channel, I don't like gold. Their buttons are all gold. I wish they would do rose gold. That would be amazing, <laughs> but they're not. So we got to kind of go roll with it. These jeans, um, I think they are super cool. And so I got a 36. They are still a little bit big. They do run baggy, um, oversized a little bit, kind of a boyfriend cut. They're, they don't fit tight against the butt, which, you know, it's good or bad depending on what your style is. But I really love the color. I love how they're kind of 90s acid wash, um, yet also shredded and kind of a modern texture. And they're really lightweight. If you check out my Chanel Paris video, you'll see another pair of jeans. I tried on a couple more. They're still not, not right. Um, unfortunately, they don't fit right. So this was an awesome find for me. I love this a lot. I think these go together. They didn't have this in white. They only had the style that wraps around the neck, like the halter style, and it was too con like too restrictive for me. All right, so this top here, I was kind of unsure about in the fitting room. Um, one, it's a 34, which for me is a little bit small, but this top runs a little bit big. Um, I thought it looks a little Chanel-like, like a 19 bag, <laughs> which for me is a bad thing because I don't like designers copying other designers and feeling like I'm, I'm a wannabe, right? Like sh she didn't find the Chanel top she wanted, so she got the next best thing. But Balmain also does a lot of tweed and they have a different flair on it. So I know this might sound dumb, but in my head, I just don't want copycat designers. I don't like that. So um, this is a really lightweight piece. Like it's, it's as light as this top. Like I'm not I'm really not kidding. For those of you interested in it, um, they took the tag off, so I can't help you. Uh, no, they didn't. Okay, here we go. So it's um, called Heel Taco, T-A-C-C-O. And its model number is YF1AI035. So it is available, but limited stock. Um, so here's why I selected it. It's longer in the back than in the front. So I think for myself, my pants tend to gap at the waist because my waist is smaller than my butt. Um, and even when I get them tailored, I still have that problem. So this covers that. <laughs> so it's cropped in the front a little bit. It comes down to about the waist, maybe mid waist. Uh, belly button ish, but it's longer in the back. So for me, that was a practicality thing. I like the raw edge. Um, I have friends who hate that, who think it's sloppy when I do that, but I like it. Um, I like the, you can tell it's Balmain, right? By the buttons here. That's a good thing. Um, I like that they're snaps and not buttons. And I liked all of this detailing without spending a fortune, like without spending a fortune. So it was fourteen hundred and then fifty percent um, discount, and then I get the tax back, so five ish. Um, you could compare it. I'm not comparing the quality of this to Chanel. If you touch it, it's clearly not Chanel, Chanel quality. But um, I think it's nice, and I think it's pretty cool, and it's a very casual piece. I've been running into an issue traveling here where um, the nice things I brought because I don't. I don't want to dry clean my things here and not trust the dry cleaner. I have one dry cleaner I use in California. Um, so because of that, I tend, sorry, a lot of lightning and <laughs> lightning thunder going on here. So because of that, I tend to um, only wear the things that are washable, right? Because I don't like to pack a ton of stuff. So I'm only wearing the things that are washable by the hotel and that's launderable, like things I can put in the laundry, not dry cleaning. So anyway, um, this doesn't fit that criteria, but I think I can, because it's so loose under the arms, I can probably wear it a couple of times. So I think it'd be good for packing and travel. And it's um, black and white for me is a neutral. I like it as a neutral. So those are my three pieces from the Balmain Paris store. I hope you found this useful. And if you did, if you could like and subscribe, I would so appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.